in relation to Dada and the avant-garde, there have been several different historical um, points and perspectives on um, African art, but also on the articulation of um, Dada's drives. And it depends really historically on, on who, who the authors are and when you're looking at them. So very early on in Paris, um, in the 20s and 30s, you had uh, African students who were studying there, who were very politically motivated. Um, people like uh, Leopold Senghor, um, Aimé Césaire, uh, Sheikh Anton Diop, who became the fathers of Negritude, uh, and uh, later the publishers of Présence Africaine. And they were moved to write Dada's poetry, and, um, and really kind of identified with the sort of some of the tropes within Dada of um, a kind of like a, trying to recapture um, a, a magical African past, this idea of, of being shamanic visionaries, but also articulating struggles under colonialism for the location of the true African self. Um, so this is really sort of the foundations of negritude. And, um, these are incredibly important political and historical figures. I mean, Leopold Senghor then goes on to become the first president of Senegal and the architect of a huge government-sponsored artistic program, including architecture, film, art schools. Later iterations um, of artists making Dadaist work, uh, you would have someone like David Hammonds in um, New York, who's an incredible artist, and who made work that was very clearly tied to identity politics in America and um, racial stereotyping. Uh, very recently, colleagues are people like Tracy Rose in South Africa, who was in a punk band, but is an incredible performance artist, practitioner, all-rounder, or Jalilu um, Atiku, who's in the Nigerian performance artist. And with the work of Jalilu and Tracy, their Dada's practice becomes more um, abstract and yet still comments on kind of personal narratives and identity politics. But with uh, the work of, some, of um, Césaire and Senghor, there's really a drive to capture the kind of um, the frustrations of the drive for self-determination. The work becomes very political. Um, unlike, I think, Dada is practiced as a kind of post-war reaction by European pr practitioners, especially here in Zurich at Cabaret Voltaire, where there's a disgust with post-war society and a frustration with bourgeois norms. Um, I would say that Afro-Dada practitioners, somewhere in there, have an idealist hope of building a new society. Um, also in the work, or a kind of a celebration of identity or a struggle for a kind of um, defining um, black identity that helps kind of inspire. And so there's not a, a frustration with black society, there's a frustration with racism projected onto black subjects and society. Um, and that's very different.